Hey, yeah, so um, I just wanted to do a quick video. This is um, a Casso action camera that I got for Christmas. It's basically a cheap GoPro equivalent, but you can get them on e uh, eBay and Amazon for about 40 or 50 quid, get good reviews. I wanted to do a little video because uh, it's a little bit confusing fitting it. So I um, just want to show you what I did. Now you do actually get a whole box of bits and pieces, <clears throat> brackets and things, mounting brackets. I was going to try and use this thing originally, um, but you just look at the, um, you know, the size of it. It's just not big enough. It won't, you know, there's no way it's going to fit on the stem like that. So I had to look for other solutions. This is where it gets a little bit confusing. Um, <clears throat> so I've got a Garmin already. I had the front out, the standard Garmin front out mount. I managed to find there's actually an equivalent you can get called a Blue Buzz. Um, <clears throat> it's basically a pretty, pretty similar to a Garmin front out mount, but you get a little GoPro um, camera mount with it. It's not in this bag. Um, also, a couple of, crucially, a couple of longer screws. So um, what you basically do is you mount the, I mean, I could have actually used the, the original Garmin mount because um, really all I needed was the GoPro mount and the screws. But basically what you do is you remove these two screws and then you put the GoPro mount on there and you use the longer screws that come with the kit. So like I say, this is uh, a Blue Buzz mount that again, you can get off eBay and Amazon. <clears throat> so I'll just show you what I did because it can be a little bit confusing. You can see this is the Blue Buzz mount, so it's the equivalent to the Garmin. Um, <clears throat> crucially, you get this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, this little GoPro mount that comes with it. And then just underneath, if you can see the screw heads, these are the longer screws that you get. So you remove the screws that are currently in the mount, replace them with the longer screws, and then you can attach the GoPro mount underneath. Now this particular mount came with the, um, the Blue Buzz kit um, and it's threaded. So this piece here, a piece of plastic is actually threaded and there's a bolt that goes through to attach your camera mount. So you have to be a little bit careful because this is only plastic at the end of the day. So if you over tighten it, you could very easily strip the thread. Um, it's something I don't particularly like. Uh, I would have preferred to have a proper uh, locking nut in there, but there we go. At least we know. Um, and then the rest of this is what came with the camera. So you've got a quick release mechanism here, which attaches to the GoPro mount. <clears throat> Um, that came with the camera and then obviously the camera underneath mounted um, upside down. So what I'll need to do is just put the, uh, <coughs> the cable behind it, uh, go into the camera settings, make sure it's uh, inverted because it's obviously upside down and then uh, I should be able to tighten this up and adjust it to get the right, um, <coughs> you know, the right angle. There's no lateral movement, you can't move it left or right, you probably need another bracket to do that. That's it really, I hope it's been useful.